Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on a legend and a big dog in this fight game. We got the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fighter on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. Then we have Ryan King, Ryan Garcia. Ryan is one of the hottest fighters at the lightweight division, one of the hottest up and coming fighters, a top contender. And just, you know, he's he, he got the potential to be a, a big star in this fight game. But Ryan Garcia is coming out and he's speaking some of his true feelings on why he left Eddie Reynoso Jim, a.k.a. Canelo Alvarez Jim. Um, and this is what he had to say, fam. I didn't quite understand why he would say something like that, especially to the media, because he could have definitely taken me somewhere else and told me personally. Ryan Garcia on why he's saying Canelo Alvarez said he, he don't have a work ethic. He said I was like shocked, right? He said, I felt betrayed, like, really? Like, okay. And to be honest, I don't think he really wanted to show me um, the love I did. I don't think so. Just based on other things, said Ryan, hitting that Canelo may have been jealous of him. Right? So he's trying to make it as if Canelo was jealous of him and things of that nature. He said, I kind of took it as disloyal because I would never do that to him. I would never speak on him in the gym on what I think he should be doing or what not, said Ryan about Canelo Alvarez. We're a team. We shouldn't even speak any ill towards each other. I know I've never done that, and I never will. So, Ryan Garcia is trying to make it as if Canelo Alvarez is jealous of him. Ryan Garcia is saying that, um, you know, he felt Canelo betrayed him. It was disloyal, and that he should have took him somewhere and told him uh, that he felt like, he wasn't having a good work ethic that he could have stayed in the gym, things of that nature. So, this is my thing, everybody. Like, yeah, I know I've been touching on this for a while. Ryan is making it as if Canelo never reached out to him and told him that he needed to stay in the gym and, and work harder, bro. Which I, I, I can't agree with that because Canelo said he told him plenty of times, bro. So, Ryan, are you saying Canelo Alvarez is lying? You saying Canelo Alvarez never told you to stay in the gym and put in the hard work? Is that what you're saying? You're saying he just making up shit? Because I can't see Canelo being that type of dude to just say some shit and, and just to be saying it, right? I just can't see it, bro. I really just can't see Canelo Alvarez saying, I told Ryan Garcia he need to stay in the gym, this, that, and the third. And now this is his first time coming to you saying what he's saying, Ryan. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it's up to you, bro. It's up to you to take constructive criticism. Doesn't matter if it's coming from the gym, the media, a hater or anything bro it's up to you to take constructive criticism but when canelo alvarez came to you and said that you know he think he, you need to be in a gym he told you these things it wasn't coming from a despiteful place it wasn't coming because he was hating on you it wasn't coming because he didn't want to show you the love he was showing you the love you didn't know how to embrace the love that's what it is you didn't know how to embrace the love from Canelo Alvarez because it wasn't the love that you thought should have been shown. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know if you, like, like you want him to be weak on you, soft on you. Hey, don't worry, Ryan, bro. You're, you're my brother, man. You'll get it together. You, no, 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 no. That's not how you become great. You don't become great by motherfuckers being soft on you. You become great by people pushing your ass to the limit and putting your motherfucking feet to the fire, letting you know what you got to do to be great. And you going out there showing that you want to be great. Period, bro. Period. You can't be doing those type of things, bro. And we all know Canelo Alvarez ain't no fucking jealous of Ryan Garcia. We all know these things. I broke it down plenty of times. Why would a motherfucker that's been a world champion since he was 20 years old been on top of the game way longer than Ryan Garcia, came into the game younger than Ryan Garcia, been through everything Ryan Garcia been through. I ain't going to say the mental shit, right? I ain't going to say Canelo been through that, but we never know about that. But for us, being in the media, for us getting backlash, for us everything, bro, been through all that shit and still claim out clean on the other side, right? Why would he need to be jealous of Ryan Garcia? Why? I tell y'all all the time, Canelo wanted nothing but the best for this dude, Ryan, bro. 
Canelo wanted nothing but the best for Ryan Garcia. He wanted to see him in the top position, bro. You're my stable mate, right? Now it's like you're connected to me now. So if you're going to be over here in a stable, connected to somebody like me, one of the hard, now I ain't going to even say one, arguably the hardest motherfucking worker in boxing, then you're going to have to get up on my level. And I'm not saying you got to beat me 120%, but you got to get up on this level, bro, if you want to be fucking great. You have to. You have to. And if I'm telling you to keep your ass in the gym, and I got to say it through the fucking media, or if I got to pull you to the side and say it, or if I got to call you or text you or send you a note, a message, however, uh, send a fucking a flying pigeon with a note attached to his fucking feet, however I got to get to you, I'm going to get to you, bro. You feel me? So when I'm looking at this situation, bro, who knows, Ryan, maybe you want subjective, you want open to Canelo Alvarez pulling you to the side and talking to you. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter how you got the message as long as you got the fucking message. You feel me? It doesn't matter how you got the message as long as you got the message. And you admitted that you was fucking off, that you weren't being 120% to the fucking gym, bro. Right? Did you tell Canelo everything that was going on with you with your situation with the with the mental health and all that shit? Because I, I, I can't find it. Um... That you did it. I can't like find it inside of me that you went up to Canelo and talked to Canelo and let him know that you were going through all the things you was going through. I just can't see that. I can't see it. Right? I don't even know if you went up to Eddie and told Eddie all the shit that you was going through. Right? But that's for another video. My thing is, you can't see that person say that, oh, Canelo betrayed you or he backstabbed you or, you know, he should have pulled you to the side, this, that, and the third when you're not doing what the fuck you need to do. When you're not doing what you need to do, bro. Like I say, you're not accepting responsibility for your bullshit, bro. And you need to. Period. Accept responsibility. Accept it. You did. Now, you have the right to lead a gym. I say that all the time. You have the right. But don't get to blaming people for shit that's not true, bro. That's where you went wrong. And now you're coming out with all this shit and it's showing the real reason why you really wanted to leave a fucking gym. Not because you didn't get enough fucking time. Because you felt like you was betrayed by Canelo Alvarez because he told your ass the truth. And that's the real fact of the matter, bro. But somebody need to tell your ass the truth. You dig me? And Canelo is just a fucking guy, bro. He's just a guy. Because he don't have to kiss your ass. He don't have to do none of that shit. He's already rich as fuck. He's the hottest thing in a fucking boxing game. And you came to him. He didn't come to you. It's a difference. You joined him. He didn't join you. So when you come over to this man's domains, right? You come over to his domains. You see Canelo Alvarez working his ass off. You see the way he's working. He's in the gym. Canelo, when it's time to work, it's time to work, bro. And he going to put that pressure on all you motherfuckers. If y'all want to be great, y'all talking about y'all want to be great and y'all coming over here to be great, then we going to put the pressure on y'all ass. And if y'all can't handle the pressure, then y'all go break and leave. And that's exactly what's happening. Y'all motherfuckers can't handle the pressure, so y'all breaking and leaving. Period. I'm talking about y'all going to Joe Goosey because he's this, he's militant and all this shit. Well, if that's the case, then you should have stayed over there with fucking um, Eddie Reynoso and just put your fucking hard work in, bro. Put your hard work in. Because all I'm saying is fucking excuses after excuse after fucking excuse, bro. Canelo Alvarez was 120% right. Your ass was not disciplined in this gym. You was not. And now that you want to get disciplined, you want to run away from the gym. And you want to make up all these goddamn excuses and all these lies. Because Oscar De La Hoya in your goddamn ear. And I don't care what nobody say. You feel me? So right now, man, Ryan Garcia feeling like Canelo Alvarez betrayed him. To me, it's a bunch of bullshit. Right? Is Ryan not accepting accountability for his fuck-ups? You dig me? And he ran out when he know the pressure was on. Period, bro. And that's just the fact of the matter. Ryan has all the skills, all the tools to be a great fighter in this game, bro. But you got to push yourself to the limit. You got to want that shit. And when you're around somebody like Canelo Alvarez who's pushing himself to the limit and want it, then he's going to expect you to do the same shit, especially when you're talking like you want to be a big dog. So if you want to be a big dog, you got to do the big dog shit to become a big dog. If not, then stay on that little bitty ass poodle level, man, and do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Because if you want to get to Canelo Alvarez level, yeah, he's showing you what you got to do. And if you can't handle that, then I'm sorry for you at the end of the day. Period, bro.
Shouts out to Ryan Garcia. I hope everything get better for you, the mental health and all that shit. Still a fan. Still go watch you fight. But stop making up these goddamn lies and accept accountability for your own bullshit. Period, bro. Shouts out to my guy Canelo. God, I do what you got to do. Can you become the greatest Mexican fighter of all time and one of the greatest devil lace them up. And today, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.